helping them create biological weapons, not only for that country, but for them as well, primarily. And that they don't want to do that research on their own turf. So instead, they go to these other countries, do this research, and say, hey, if we get caught, we can just wipe our hands of it, and we'll pay the country X amount of dollars to keep their mouth shut and to allow us to do this research on their land. That's one theory. If something fucks up, it's not in the United States. No. They don't care about other countries. No. Hate to say it. Yeah. All right, Dan, so what's this next theory? All right. This next one is that there are multiple theories floating around that COVID actually came from a Ukrainian lab. That bird got out and flew to China, or that COVID originated from Ukraine and was taken over to China and spread on purpose to frame them. Now, there was another theory that I saw that a Chinese individual actually got the coronavirus in a briefcase somehow, like a, a bat in a briefcase, traveled with it to the wet market and released it as a way to kind of like sabotage China. It was just a theory. But. I mean, the only thing, though, is that Say it did come from a Ukrainian lab that was funded by the United States. And everybody pointed at the Wuhan Institute for the spread of COVID, which that is also a U.S. funded laboratory. If y'all didn't know that. Yeah, the gain of function. Yeah. Research. So, I mean, it's like, why would they do that knowing that, I don't know, just it's like trying to blame them. But then again, you're using one of your funded bio labs finger can come pointing at you sooner or later. I 100% believe that our downfall as humanity is not going to be from a nuclear war. I believe it's going to be one of these deadly viruses that the military, I'm not stating that the United States military, but any military in general that's researching this illegally is creating these deadly viruses and one of them somehow leaks out or an employee goes crazy and takes it out with them. And that deadly disease has no cure and it pretty much wipes out everybody. Resident Evil style. Yeah. Now, there's another theory that Russia is actually making all of this up, all of these biolabs, as sort of a way for the United States to concentrate on that while they are continuing their invasion in Ukraine and the main reason like we stated was for them to push back NATO like they take over Ukraine they replace it with a more pro-Russian government and that pro-Russian government is more easily controllable by Putin and doesn't allow Ukraine to be influenced by the West whether it's the EU or the United States. That's one of the theories. And that all of these documents and everything that the General Igor showed, they were all made up, which documents can easily be made up, right? Yeah, signatures can be forged and all that. Mm-hmm. Which, I don't know, man. It, it's hard to really pick a side here in what is really... I know this is kind of like a hot topic, and it's very sensitive and that's why we kind of made that uh, statement at the beginning because we aren't siding with russia on this we aren't siding with any country on this okay we just come to you and we present these uh findings that we have and we let you come to your own conclusion okay you do your own research you figure it out and then make your own decisions okay so don't say that we're, hey, you're pro-Russian. I'm not pro-anybody, okay? The only thing I'm pro is I'm pro for the people, okay? No government should be able to tell me what I can and cannot do. I'm my own free person. If I want to go out and smoke a joint and fish on a boat, right, and I want to do it butt-ass naked, ain't nobody got the right to tell me what I can and cannot do unless... It harms somebody else, okay? If it harms somebody else seeing me doing that, I should paddle my boat elsewhere. 
where I'm secluded in like a little valley area where I'm fishing, butt fucking naked, suntan in my butthole, smoking a J, enjoying life, being one with nature, okay? Nobody has the right to tell me that I can do that, and nobody has the right to uh, say what I can or cannot do with my consciousness. If I want to experiment with dimethyltryptamine, DMT, if I want to experiment with ayahuasca, with whatever, I should be able to do that. That's my own consciousness. No government has the right over that. Anyway, end of Aaron's rant. From shiny butthole to tan buttholes. I like it. Yeah. All right, Dan, so what's your whole thoughts on all this? Do you think that Russia is just spreading misinformation? Do you think the United States really has bio labs? Do you think uh, Ukraine is just covering it up? What do you think? I mean, honestly, I think it's a mixture of all of it. Russia's known for throwing out shit like that. But then again, I mean, there is some evidence that at least the government... United United States government is funding some of these bio labs and saying that you know we don't have a hand in them. Like we already know that's false, so you can't be like hiding the stuff when we already know that it's there. Now, are they creating biological weapons? I hope to God they're not. You know, that'd be some crazy stuff to try to start doing that. Then the next thing you know, now we're in a biological chemical warfare. Then it goes into nukes. I think it's a mixture of all of it. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah. I did hear another theory that I forgot about until just now, that the Ukrainian president, Zelensky, yeah, Zelensky, him and uh, Putin are actually on civil ground, right? That they came together months ago and planned this out. And when the invasion happened, he actually was secretly taken away and uh, moved to an underground base in Russia or wherever and that this whole idea of war or I guess it's a theater of war is done as a way for Ukraine to I don't know receive aid or something you know I have heard that theory that Ukraine's just doing it as a show I am confused as to why the Russian military would use old 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 tanks and stuff instead of sending out their new stuff if they really wanted to take it over yeah and I heard a rumor that they sent all the old shit first and they're waiting to use the new stuff. Yeah, they took all the old stuff out of the museums and stuff, got them working again, and sent them into Ukraine, which honestly, I find that to be kind of weird because then you're sending your own soldiers, which from what it sounds like, Putin doesn't care about his soldiers. No, he didn't even tell them that the invasion was happening. He said it was like a training exercise. So... Yeah, I mean, there's all these videos, short videos and stuff out there about Russian soldiers asking for gas and stuff, and everyone's telling them to go fuck themselves. And the Russian soldiers are like, let's not go into politics. I mean, you're invading a country. Why wouldn't you go into politics about it? It's so weird. Yeah, my thing is, I don't think there should be any wars, right? We're all human beings. These governments are great at dividing the people and making it so that one nationality seems not human so that you're able to do these heinous things to them that you would never imagine you could do to another human. Yeah. When in reality, you're all just fighting a war for banks, pretty much, and governments, and these officials sitting in these golden palaces that don't give a shit about you or your family. You only have one life to live. Don't live it at warring with your neighbor. Live it enjoying your life, making memories and growing more wise. And that is the end of Aaron's class. But there's a few things I can say is that, yes, we cannot deny that uh, America is involved in some sort of biolabs situated in diverse regions of Ukraine, right? And when they're asked about them, every single politician in in the United States will say that these biolabs are for defense purposes only, a.k.a. the Biological Threat Reduction Program, the BTRP, in Ukraine and that they are just assisting them. What I don't get is that if it's just for defense, why are we studying the deadliest pathogens in the world on the border of Russia? That's just like provoking war, right? Saying, hey, look what we're doing. It's not really for just defense. They even, what, is it the BTRP or the DTRA? One of their uh, slogans or saying is that, you know, it's for defense, but also like countermeasures to 
pretty much combat it. Yeah. This whole thing is weird. I hate it. But we wanted to let you guys and girls and aliens and uh, Bigfoots all know what was going on in the world, okay? I know we don't touch politics, but we just had to touch this one just a little bit, okay? It's just a little bit political. A little bit. We just hit you with the facts with it, okay? All right, anything else you want to add to today's episode before we go into free talk? I'm pro Danielson, okay? Facts are laid out there. Hell yeah, I'm pro alien. I give a shit about the alien race, okay? I'm pro whatever freaking country they're with. He's with whatever alien country that has the biggest pro. All right. So that's the end of the episode today. Now we weekend. It was all right. Uh, I was supposed to go to Galaxy Con, but I ended up backing out of that. What, you just antisocial that day or something? I was antisocial that day. Okay. Yeah, I just woke up and I was just like, eh, I really don't feel like going. Yeah, that's all right. And honestly, the the location where it was at, parking was going to be a pain, and I didn't feel like getting an Uber. I was just like, eh. Oh, you didn't feel like communicating with somebody? No. Yeah, it sucks. I always hate getting an Uber and don't want to talk. It's like, man, I just want to ride. I don't like talking to people, man, but I hate being rude. So I just talk right back to them. Yeah. Yeah, my weekend was pretty crazy. I had an emergency come up, and I had to fly back to Texas again. And I have been here for a week. What is today? It's well, almost a week. Yeah, almost a week. I didn't bring any of uh, my recording equipment, so I had to go to Guitar Center, and I purchased some temporary recording equipment. I got a Shure SM7B, which I don't use this. I use a Electro Voice RE20, but the only thing they had was a Shure SM7B. So if my voice sounds a little different, that's why. But I also got a focus right and a cloud lifter and a new mic stand and all that for all this. And uh, the person's house that I'm staying at, I was able to use their closet to record in. Very small closet. <laughs> Dude, it is so small and so hot inside here. I ended up getting four moving blankets from Home Depot and a whole bunch of, uh, of those, what are they, springs? Uh, clamps clamps yeah metal clamps and i clamp them in side of this closet all the way around and even created a little door and stacked boxes inside here to place my laptop on a box and my and place my audio interface and cloud lifter and then i got my mic on a stand and i'm sitting on this very uncomfortable chair i'm just sweating my ass off sweats dripping right off of me but we had to get an episode done this week so you gotta do what you gotta do you know what i mean yeah seems like something's always coming up and since i had this emergency come up and i had to come to uh, texas for a little bit i'm actually flying back to boston this weekend uh sometime this weekend and my two weeks at work essentially never happened so my badge gets terminated on friday which i don't have to turn it back in i get to keep it because it gets terminated and uh, i don't have to go back to that work anymore i'm done with it but the thing that sucks I got a lot of my shit there still. I have um, my David Koresh coffee cup, my plant on my work desk, and a whole bunch of files and stuff on the computer that I wasn't able to get off. You'll be able to get someone to bring the stuff out to you. Well, not the files, but the... Yeah, hopefully. But after I fly back, I'm going to pack all my shit up and then start on the drive, which this week for recording sucks, and next weekend is going to suck just as bad because... More than likely, I will be recording in a hotel room, which that should be very fun. I'll um, probably end up taking like four of those clothes racks and building a uh, a recording area inside one of those hotel rooms. Get you a duffel bag, put all the poles and stuff in there and take it upstairs. Yeah. So, Anyways, uh, if anybody thinks this microphone sounds better than the RE20, my previous one that I've always used, please let me know. If you think it sounds worse, let me know. If he sounds the same, let him know. Yeah, if it sounds the same, let me know. I strive for the best audio quality That's right. for your ears. All right. Um, let's see. Any updates? Oh, if you go to our website, theoriesofthethirdkind.com, and you click on shop, you may see something interesting there. Okay? Ooh. That something may give you some information as to what you have been requesting for quite a while. 
something something also we hired a graphic designer to help us out with merch and 